Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show it to you guys how I mix my Craft Smart acrylic paint. So I bought this set of Craft Smart in Michael store during their mega clearance sale. So I bought this for less than $5 for 12 pieces and um, the regular price of this is $8.99. And disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to share to you guys how I mix my Craft Smart acrylic paint. So I'm gonna mix ten. I already mixed the two uh, Craft Smart, and the colors are violet, mint green, vanilla. It's pure pumpkin. This is yellow bright pink, red, full blue, ocean breeze, mediterranean blue, there is grief taffy also in which I already mixed, and this is peacock blue. So I already strained my flute roll, make sure it's um, smooth and Okay to use. So my mixing part is two part of flute roll, one part of paint, and one part of Elmer's glue all when it comes to Craft Smart. So the Craft Smart paint is very thin, so it's like it's watery, and if you put too much flute roll, it will be a disaster when you pour and it will not hold much. To the canvas so i'm just gonna measure it for like in this part two, po two part of flute roll because i don't have measuring scale so i'm just gonna measure it through my eyes just like this and we can add more if it's thick and I'm gonna put a one part of Elmer's glue all. So it's better we put um, a small amount first, and then if we need more, we can add. So, if you can see, it's so watery, the paint, not uh, like the acrylic paints, the Liquitex or Artist Love, that's, it's thick. And only a small amount, it will give a nice So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a small amount in the tube. And then shake it. So that we can get all the pins inside. This color is perfect for fall because it's named as like pure pumpkin. So I already put the 9 cups with flute roll, so it's the same thing, it's two part. And we're gonna stir now this pure pumpkin. And let's see if our consistency is enough. And I want it to be a uh, not so thick because if the paint is too much thick, it also result to a crack. I'm just stirring it until the paints and the flute roll and the Elmer's glue alls are mixed together. There's more in this part. So 
So if you can see it guys, it's very nice. And one thing to see also if the paints are mixed properly and in the right consistency. I usually do this finger testing. <laughs> so I'm gonna try if it's not gonna break. So if the pins are separate, it means you're getting the right consistency because they are not coming back. It means it will hold to the canvas, in my own opinion. <laughs> but everyone have different way to mix their paints, but I like to mix this Craft Smart paint with two part flute roll, one part paint, the whole bottle, and the one part of Elmer's Glue All. And now I'm going to mix the other paints. So I already put two parts of flute roll. I'm going to put one part of Elmer's glue all. So I'm going to put the part into a time lapse so that we can finish fast. Gonna put this thing aside. Then we're gonna put the violet. So now that I already put all the paints, I'm just going to stir it like the way I did in the orange. So two parts of flute roll, one part of Elmer's glue all, and the whole bottle of the 2 ounce Crap Smart paint. So this one is the Ocean Breeze. So mixing properly so that uh, we can get a nice consistency of the paint. And if you find it that the paint is too thin, you can add more of the Elmer's glue all. Put this thing aside. And this one is the red.
So the vanilla will be nice also to use as a base. Now let's see the consistency of the paint if they are, are the same like the first one that I did. So we're going to try first this Ocean Breeze. So I separate also. And then the yellow. So it's separate our red. And it's very nice. So it's not so thin, it's not so thick. It's this one. pink and it's very smooth and then our vanilla in which um, I'm going to use it also for base so I'm just checking it So I'm not going to add water for vanilla if I'm going to use it for my base because uh, it's thin already. So this one, cleaning my, so hard to see because I'm using the plastic uh, knife. And this is our Mediterranean Blue. So our consistency is nice. If you can see. So two parts of loot roll, one part of paint, and one, uh, one whole bottle of Craft Smart Acrylic Paint. And our last. very nice so thank you so much guys for watching and i hope you learned something and this is only based on how i mix my craft smart acrylic paint um so my mixing is two part of flute roll one part of elmer's glue oil and one bottle of the two ounce craft smart acrylic paint um i respect everyone's way of mixing their paints so this is the way I mix my Craft Smart paint and when I mix my Liquitex uh, acrylic paint and Artist Love um, acrylic paints, my mixing part are three parts of Lutrol, one part of paint, and one part of Elmer's Glue Oil because the Liquitex and um, Artist Love are thick paint and it need uh, uh, more Lutrol. So thank you so much and these paints are ready to use.